save our planet. Global shift to vegan diet would reduce emissions and mitigate costs 80 percent. Governments worldwide are challenged with the task of reducing greenhouse gas emissions that cause global warming. The Netherlands Environmental Assessment Agency analyzes and makes recommendations for Dutch and international policy for environmental sustainability. In February, researchers issued a proposal involving a dietary change that would also reduce the cost of mitigating global warming. Department Director Dr. Joop Oude Lohos said in a phone interview that this study was one of a growing number being conducted in Europe. We are now at the point that um, science has more and better numbers on the effect of uh, changing the diet and eating less meat. Um, so there's more consensus on that side if you look at the, the total picture of the chain. Uh, it did lead to uh, several heavy discussions in uh, Germany, in the Netherlands, some in Belgium and in the UK. The Netherlands study entitled Climate Benefits of Changing Diet analyzed the entire chain of animal raising activities from field to fork. It calculated the monetary cost of halting climate change, which was defined as stabilizing atmospheric CO2 at the level of 450 parts per million. The report concluded that 20 trillion US dollars, or 50 percent of a total 40 trillion US dollars estimated cost, could be saved from the global shift to a low meat diet. What would happen in the case of a vegetarian or vegan diet? If you would go for a completely uh, meatless diet, in the next uh, 10 to 15 years, then in the year 2050, you would have a 70% reduction of uh, uh, attaining the climate goals. That's a substantial cost reduction in getting to the uh, same climate targets. Going even further, the researchers found that a completely vegan diet with no animal products would save an enormous 80% by 2050. What's more, another benefit was discovered. Because plant-based diets produce much more food for humans than meat and dairy-based diets, some of the land not used to grow livestock could be turned back into carbon-absorbing forests, which are known to help reduce CO2 emissions. We assume that the grasslands that were, in that case, not used by cattle anymore, they would go back to their natural state. And for that reason, uh, several parts of the world will grow forests and uh, retain carbon uh, in terms of uh, more woodland. Dr. Aldo Lojos said the trend toward plant-based alternatives to meat has already gained momentum as consumers learn about meat's harm to health and the environment. Well, if you look, if you look around in shops now, uh, maybe uh, two years ago there were four or five or six alternatives in terms of uh, a soy product of, or a or alternatives for, for a piece of meat, and now it has, uh, it has uh, quadrupled. Maybe there are 20 or 25, and it is a very easy way. It's a very easy way to change your uh, buying behavior and uh, have a, a fantastic uh, quality of your meal, and uh, it saves lives as well. We thank Dr. Joop Oude Lohos and the Netherlands Environmental Assessment Agency for demonstrating to us the tremendous power of a plant-based diet in reducing both financial costs and our carbon footprint. May we all quickly make this free and immediately beneficial choice to save lives and our planet. In July 2008, during a video conference with our association members in the United States, Supreme Master Ching Hai once more encouraged the worldwide trend toward vegetarianism. All those positive changes do indicate the higher level of consciousness. As the world population become more aware of the ephemeral nature of life and how fragile the planet can be, and realizing their lifestyle habits should be changed, so now they begin to treat their environment with respect. They begin to have more vegetarian choice, and it's good to see all that change is good. And if we hasten this process, yes, there will be heaven on earth. I hope we can make it. Just change vegetarian diet. How easy can it be? Some of the diseases related to meat consumption. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children antibiotic-resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, salmonella, bird flu, mad cow disease, or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk. Pig disease, or PMWS, listeriosis, 
shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating. Infertility. Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32%, with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer. Over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth. Uses up to 43% of the world's cereal. Uses up to 85% of the world's soy. Cause world hunger and wars. 80% cause of global warming. Plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Listeria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis. Classified as a major allergen. Lactose intolerance. Plus more. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com.